Looks like your presentation's ready to go, Esmeralda. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Um, we appreciate that. Esmeralda is the CEO and co-founder of Xenso. I, I hope I said that right. If, if, if I haven't, please correct me. Thank you very much. Uh, the, co the company's name is Exensio, correct? And we're yeah. based in Switzerland. And I'm very happy and uh, grateful for the invitation today. So I'd like to take a moment to actually introduce what we're doing and why we think it's a very exciting field to be in. So the company is called Exensio, and the motto of the company is Lab on Skin. The way we see it is that we see a huge trend in health, in general, healthcare technologies, and huge trends towards miniaturization. So we can see a number of big things are moving, equipments moving from the hospital to remote monitoring, could be still in the hospital or at home, to allow for the continuous remote monitoring. And the reason for that are manifold. There is pressure on the healthcare system across the world to start doing things in a much more efficient way, to release patients faster and sooner so that they go back home for the comfort of the patient, but also for to be able to provide care for other patients. And also making the whole system in the hospital more optimal. So it's not just moving people outside the hospital and back home, but also within the hospital to start thinking of multiple ways to make things more efficient in the hospital. So we can, we can for example, the EC in the hospital, which is the standard system that everybody sees, this trend towards portable ECG. The same for ultrasound, towards portable ultrasound. And now this big limitation, which are the lab tests that we all do once or twice a year, or multiple times when we have, we're in the hospital, when there is a monitoring that needs to be taken. And this whole system has not really, really changed. So there has been this big trend from big, large centralized labs towards more and more point of care. So we're shrinking the whole system and making it not central, but at the doctor's office or by the patient bedside. But this does not provide continuous monitoring. So it decentralizes, but we see another trend that is happening towards con continuous monitoring. And this happens today for glucose. So from a finger prick that all people with diabetes have had to endure for decades and decades to a system that is provided by companies like Abbott and Dexcom and Medtronic, which is a patch that is connected. And this allows the patient to actually follow during the day instead of multiple pricking to follow the ups and downs of, of glucose. But then what happens beyond glucose? What happens when patients have ups and downs for many other things that are happening in their body, but we're not capturing this information? And so this is the goal of Accentio. And we want to position, we are positioning the company Accentio at the intersection between centralized labs that provide very important, well-established well measurements in blood, intersection between this industry and the wearables. This is the thing with the, the conference today is that wearables today provide very interesting information about typically physical data, so number of steps and movements and there is this booming industry that has emerged around all these apps that take measurement from an accelerometer or a gyroscope and actually provide recommendation to the user. So this is mostly physical data. But where we see the big opportunity for the coming years is at the intersection to provide wearable biosensing data. So not physical data, but bio biological data. And we believe at Accenture that providing this in a wearable format, continuous wearable, continuous and real-time information is going to really change the way we provide care for patients with value for patients, healthcare providers, and ultimately the payers themselves. So where we see the solution is that we want to actually change the way decisions are taken in a hospital. Because right now, when we have a blood test, this is information that is single point and is a very reactive system. We have a blood test that is taken and we analyze the data. And what is happening a minute or an hour after is not taken care of. You have to redo another blood test. 
We have established 